actually first met um, after we had both graduated from high school. I graduated mm -hmm. from North Davidson. She was at Central Davidson. Mm -hmm. And um, the whole, um, our whole county at least, goes to like a big senior beach week. Um, <laughs> all the young you know, kids in high school go on like a full week at beach week. Uh -huh. um, and we met there on, yeah. out on the beach one day. I was actually with one of my friends and I called dibs on Daniel at the beach. So yeah. that was how we first met. We, we uh, I remember one big thing we were, Hung out on the beach every day after that, basically. And I, but during our cornhole game, the first one we played, I mean, we Probably literally lost. Probably the second and the third and the fourth. Yeah, I mean, every game we played, we lost. Yeah. But like we, like she's really athletic. I consider myself, you know, somewhat yeah. of an athlete. And but we just kept losing. <laughs> so and it's a good thing that wasn't a representation yeah. of our relationship. <laughs> yeah. But she had such a good attitude. Like as we were losing, she just still was having fun, like making me laugh, and you know, continue to just have a good day with you know our awful, awful <laughs> cornhole Start. abilities. Yeah, I don't know if I'd call it love at first sight, cause that's kind of crazy. But I saw him, and and I, I called dibs. I said, mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna try to go for Daniel, <laughs> and here we are. Yep. About to get married. Uh huh. So. Yep, I remember writing about it in my journal, which was kind of weird. I said uh, I met this guy named Daniel, and I think we, we might last a while. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know that. I'll have to show that to you. Yeah, I don't get to read that much. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember knowing, knowing of Ashley through some of my friends, and um, but really getting to know her on beach. We got to know each other really a lot at Beach Week, which um, I don't think it's known for that kind of stuff, honestly. Mm -hmm. But we had some really deep conversations and like really got to know where we were in each other's lives and like where where we were individually in our own lives and really connected like mm -hmm. real on like the deepest level i'd ever connected with somebody on and after when i left the beach you know we went back home like i was like dang like i really hope it didn't end right there mm -hmm. i hope we get to like hang out more and like just yeah. just see one another and like because i want to learn more about who she is we had our first our first date after meeting at the oh, beach yeah. was at Taco Bell, <laughs> and Daniel was late. Yeah, not by much, but I was definitely late. I was I'm sitting in the parking lot, kind of waiting, you know, first time we've seen each other since the beach, and Daniel, here he comes rolling in about 15 minutes late. <laughs> 15? Was it 15? <laughs> it may have been 15. I tried to be there on time, but... Yeah, we sat in a little booth next to the window. Uh-huh. Yep, and I... I, at that day, I knew really, like how how easy it was going to be to like please her. She wasn't she wasn't super picky and wasn't like you know really really particular with a lot of things. Um, that was before he got to know me. Yeah, that was a little bit before I got to know him. <laughs> but it's all it's all good stuff. Yeah. So we still love going to Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. So one of our first I feel like major dates was uh, we went to Hanging Rock State Park mm -hmm. and. Um, we, I, I love like going outdoors and like, you know, just being outside and I know she does too, but um, I just remember us probably like halfway through the trip, we were going, <laughs> going pr on a pretty rough, rough trail. I mean, it took a while to get there, probably like an hour, honestly, to get up, just, mm -hmm. just to get up to the site. Mm -hmm. And she, I could just, <laughs> I could just tell she was over on the, on the I way was, up. I was not feeling it. And <laughs> we got to the top and she was exhausted. And I, I was too, but you know, me trying to impress her, I was like, oh yeah, I'm good, let's, let's keep going. But she, she was ready to be done. And I, I felt terrible <laughs> at the top. So we had to go all the way back down and then we still had like a three hour drive home. <laughs> but Daniel was really sweet and he was encouraging me the whole time. So that's when I knew that I really, yeah. really liked him. I would just play music and get her to keep on going with me. <laughs> but yeah, she, she, was, she was a trooper. She was definitely a trooper. Um, oh, the, oh, the chicken pie? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we started dating and throughout the summer we got to hang out with each other more and I you know, finally did the big step, brought her to my uh, parents' house and, and I will never forget, I mean, she made a great impression on my parents. I mean, she's just super kind, like when you meet her, she's just a really incredibly kind person. But I will never forget the first night um, she came to meet my family because we were eating this like really cheap meal. It was just like noodles and like canned chicken. Like it's, it's good, really but it's, good. it's not like anything special. And she got seconds on her first night <laughs> being in our house. And I was like, this is my kind of girl. <laughs> I was like, like keep getting it. I mean, 
she wasn't scared to keep, you know. Keep eating. <laughs> keep eating and like not feeling like she was being, you know, burdened anybody. And I knew that night. I was like, yeah, <laughs> she, she's going to be my girl. Um, yeah, Daniel made a really great first impression. My, I only have a sister, so my dad's never known what it's like to have a son and my mom <laughs> either. But, but they just took Daniel right in. And my mom always says that my dad, he isn't much of a handyman but she uses Daniel all the time to fix stuff around the house and, and outside and all that good mm -hmm. stuff. So I know they just appreciate Daniel and love Daniel and couldn't ask for better. I was like, I probably visited her probably once a month or so while she was at State. Like that was like the highlight of my, <laughs> my weeks because I was like trying to get to NC State. Yeah, so my first year, our first year of college, I was at NC State mm -hmm. and Daniel went to Davidson County Community College. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then our sophomore year, Daniel got into NC State, so we were both at State. And so mm -hmm. it was interesting, though, because that was probably one of our lowest points in our relationship. Yeah, one of the hardest spots. Yeah. And, um, yeah, like we, we thought, you know, hey, we're going to be together all the time. Like, it's going to be so much better. Mm -hmm. And then we, we really um, kind of found ourselves looking at each other for fulfillment kind of thing. Like, mm -hmm. hey, she's going to fill my life and she's going to you know, like make me feel great and she does. But we realized kind of in that point that we weren't gonna get like our soul fulfilled, like looking to each other for, mm -hmm. to make us feel a certain way. And we actually both kind of looked into, you know, what, what it means to have like a savior in your life and like who mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is. And we kind of went through that at the same time. And I mean, I, I don't think like she, kind of pulled me into that or I pulled her into that. It was really just a kind of um, unanimous thing that we were focused on at that point. And yeah, we finally started having God at the center of our relationship. Yeah, because it wasn't. changed everything. Yeah, and we we really, really um, just kind of understood what that meant and like kind of what it would bring to our relationship. And it, it really did improve everything about our lives. And that was our sophomore year in college. And um, after after we kind of understood what it had meant to have like God's center, center of our relationship, we actually started to get really really serious. Mm -hmm. And um, about senior year, beginning of senior year, like I was really thinking about when I need to make this girl mine, and like when mm -hmm. I need to, you know, try to pencil that in. Mm -hmm. And um, so after we graduated, we were definitely both on the same page of. You know, like we definitely want this after we graduate, and like we want to get married to one another. Mm -hmm. And um, about September, um, a few months after we graduated in May, um, we, yeah, we decided that that was gonna be a great time. And obviously, we wanted to get engaged as early as possible. But September um, just worked out the best for us. It was a surprise for me, so I didn't yeah, really know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when, when I finally decided to propose, well, first of all, I had. I had a trip to Charleston planned, like with my family, and obviously she was gonna go. I was gonna do it there, because Charleston's obviously a beautiful place, and she, she, I remember her saying that one time. She's like, "That'd be a cool place to get engaged." Hint, hint. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, um, there was a hurricane that came through right during that time, and mm -hmm. she was super, super busy with school. Like she, it was her first year mm -hmm. first of year kindergarten. Of um, yeah, teaching kindergarten. And um, she was just a little stressed that weekend, so it wasn't the best. So a couple weekends later, um, I was like, you know what, I can't wait any longer. Like, let's just do it in my parents' uh, basically pasture. And there's some row of pine trees. And so with uh, my mom and sister's help, I strung up some like pictures of us just through the years, like our first date kind of thing, and up and through like graduation. And um, I had like a little, little blanket down, some like champagne and stuff. And um, I walked her out there, and as soon as we went outside, she knew it was happening. She was she was surprised when it happened, but she knew it was coming that day. Um, and yeah, we went out to those rural pine trees, and I just kind of talked her through what everything we had been through, and kind of where we were now, and how confident I was with her at that point, and still, you know, everything leading up to it. Daniel started crying after about a yeah. minute, so it was really yeah. sweet. I, Beforehand, I was like, I'm not gonna cry. Like, I'm gonna say all my words. I'm like, get it out right. But when I was walking through those pictures, like, it just hit me, and I, yeah, I started bawling. And and it was, I didn't expect to, but I, I did. I'm usually not that emotional, but I was that day for sure.
Mm -hmm. um, Whenever he pulled the ring <clears> out of <throat> his, <laughs> he pulled the ring out of his boot and he opened it up like upside down. So it was sticking <laughs> like that way instead of sticking up straight. It was yeah. sticking out. And she, you know, she probably knew that as soon as it <laughs> happened that she was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> but she said yes, even though it was upside down and it didn't look right. But no, that, that was a fun time. Yeah. So that was that was a really special day. Uh -huh. And then yep. after oh, yeah. after he proposed, I um, we went back to my parents' house and there was a an engagement party, I guess. Mm -hmm. It was a complete surprise. So that was yep. really special. Yep. My, so. my friends were there and my family and her family mm -hmm. and like, it should, like we were talking about earlier, like both of our families just think the world of each other. Like my mm -hmm. parents love her, like so happy that, you know, she's going to be part of our family now. Mm -hmm. And um, that, that party was a really, really special time for everybody there. Mm -hmm. So obviously that's, um, well, to me, that's something that's really important. Um, and I know that um, her sister, um, her sister's husband asked obviously beforehand and you know, it's, it's kind of just something you do as far as, you know, I grew up, like that's just something you do. And um, so I asked him to go eat at East Coast Wings with me one night. And he, he knew what was coming, I think. Um, but we got there and like, I was beyond nervous. Because like, I mean, that's a big thing. Like his youngest daughter, his baby, like being given away to, you know, some guy. And so I was so nervous. I felt like I had to like show him I was like the best man in the world. But we got there and like we just had a good conversation um, and probably like halfway through he stopped me and was like, okay, why, why are we really here, Daniel? After we had like done small talk for like <laughs> 20 minutes, he was like, why are we really here? And so obviously I talked to him about um, how I was going to treat our marriage and I said, you know, it's, it's definitely a biblical base where we're, we're going to keep that um, as the forefront of our marriage. And um, he, he started getting a little teary eyed when we were talking about, you know, me uh, marrying Ashley and like you know living together and all that stuff and I could tell how much he loved her and like how hard it was for her to like how he, how hard it was for him to like let her go kind of like in that sense but he, he said yeah so that's good because I was nervous <laughs> I was nervous he's an amazing guy like he's he's really I'm not gonna say soft-spoken but he's really like cool calm collected um, kind of person and he I mean as soon as I asked him he was like oh absolutely yes like like he gave me some really encouraging words and like really good advice as well um, but I, I look up to him a lot his name's Brad um, I look up to him a lot so um, it was it was good being able to talk to him in that mm -hmm. mature way I, th I think he's always prayed for me to meet someone like Daniel so. yeah yeah I and think I, I think he couldn't be couldn't be happier with the person I'm gonna marry and I love him so much he's he's really taught me a lot about just relationship and um, relationship with Christ and like having a faith like what that looks like um, so he's a good role model to have in our life for sure